Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate the feast of one of the greatest saints in the church, St. Joseph. Ironically, we know very little uh, about him, but what we do know uh, is an inspiration for our own faith experience. So let us begin as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We gather together to hear the word of the Lord, to celebrate his Eucharist. Let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins, to ask God for his forgiveness and his healing grace. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted are to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Son of David will live forever. The Son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The Son of David shall, shall live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your pos posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The Son of David will live forever. He shall say to me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants. Not to those who only adhere the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is the father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, who calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover, and when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know this. Thinking that he was in a caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions, and all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been searching for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came back to Jerusalem, Nazareth, and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your Father and I have been searching for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. There probably is not a parent on earth who cannot relate to the story of today's Gospel. Joseph and Mary lose their son in the crowd, and then eventually find him in the temple. It is the worst fear parents have that somehow their children could get lost. Yet there is something profound in losing and finding. Think of the gospel stories right, on that theme. The parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin, and the most famous parable of all, the story of the prodigal son who was lost and then found. When we lose precious people, right, we find ourselves taking stock of what they really meant to us. Right? Today, we celebrate uh, Joseph and honor his role within the Holy Family. Joseph is the one who knew all too well that all things come from God, and God must be trusted. When Jesus got separated from his parents on that trip to the Holy City, right, it was a great moment of truth. The parents right, didn't grasp what he was telling them when they found him, right? but when they did find Jesus in the temple, they saw that he had been taking stock of all things that they had taught him. All fears aside, that must have been a joyful moment right, for Mary uh, and Joseph. And as a matter of fact, finding Jesus in the temple is one of the joyful mysteries of the Rosary. As Joseph came to understand the mystery of that moment, he must have been reminded how little control we have and he had over life and family. Over time, parents, all of us, really come to understand that uh, too. Life is meant to be lived as it comes to us, to be cherished in the present, to be all filled in unexpected moments, and to be trusted in the one whose loving hands we all exist, God. St. Joseph, pray for us. Let us now offer our prayers as we prepare to offer our gifts for the church, that the church may find inspiration in the example and the prayers of St. Joseph. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in this time of uncertainty and fear, that we may turn in trust, like Joseph did, to our loving God. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in nursing homes and rehabilitation centers and their caregivers, that they may have strength and peace as they go about their important work. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For healthcare workers on the front line of this pandemic, for our elderly parents, that they stay strong during these challenging days of the virus.
for our grandparents, and for all the elderly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of all those who are sick, we pray especially for Mike Bolgende, and for all those who are sick in the Ford Prep family, among our alumni, our community, our families. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have lost jobs because of this crisis, that we may be generous to them and find ways to support them. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, especially as we endure this crisis, and as we learn from a distance, learn and study and work from a distance, and as we also shelter in our homes, that we have been, may have more patience with ourselves and with each other. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faculty, for all of those who serve our young men at Borden Prep, that they may experience strength and joy in their vocation of education. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers which lie in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may find a welcome place in the banquet of the Lord. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers which we raise to you as always in the name of Jesus the Lord. Let us prepare his table. Thus today, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this meal of the living wine, we have come to share in the divinity of Jesus, who came to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, for the divine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, accept these gifts which we offer to you with humble and contrite hearts. The Lord will wash away our sins in the hand of these men, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care by your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy God, to minister with a pure heart at your altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and on this solemnity of St. Joseph, but to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For a just man I was given uh, by you as spouse uh, to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch uh, like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by and overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ, and so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy that with his gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take this off of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and your entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your kingdom. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Holy Spirit of St. Joseph, the Apostles, the Martyrs, and Saints, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we too merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with us. Let us also have a greeting in peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have to the root, but only say the word, and this soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, the family you have nourished with the food from this altar, as they rejoice in the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep us safe I, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God be with us 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God.